Chelsea has officially been bought. Bid is closing in. We are having an idea of who is going to buy Chelsea. I'm going to cover it in all of today's video. I'm going to keep it nice and short for you guys. So let's get into today's video. We start off with Nick Candy, the guy who's looking like he is in the lead to buy Chelsea Football Club. And he says here that the idea this club is going to bust is ludicrous. We've got money in the bank, he says. Look at it. It's got plenty of money in the bank. Yes, obviously that's sanctioned, so the government are controlling where that money can be spent, but it will not go to bust and it will be bought very quickly. Nick Kennedy's on the rise to Chelsea, looking like the new owner. So let's get some more information about him now. Nick Candy says that Abramovich has done an amazing job and he'll keep Marina plus others, which means he'll be keeping Marina, he'll be keeping Czech, he'll be keeping, unfortunately, some of our scouts who don't do anything. But this is a good move for us in the sense of Marina. Now, the point with Nick Candy and what I'll get into is he doesn't have the most money and in the sense of the other bidders. So let's get into that now. Now we look at his net worth, it's only about 2 billion um, in net worth and obviously that's a lot of money but for a football owner, it's not the best money to have and obviously the bid is going to be uh, about 1.7 billion. The profit he puts into Chelsea, it will be big but it's not going to be as big as Roman but he has said he will spend as much as Roman. Looking at this tweet from the football terrace who has popped this on big up shouts to Terry it says Nick Candy makes transfer promise to Chelsea fans and vows clubs won't end up like Man United. And he says the last 20 years have been brilliant on the pitch. We played glorious football, won everything. Roman's done an incredible job with this team and vows to spend his money like Roman. Again, big up to Terry on this one. As he said, that the Saudi media is doubtful. And him and Seboi increased takeover. Now, the Saudi media, they had the most bid. And their bid is over. Sorry, their net worth is over 40 billion. Billions. Billions. They got billions and billions and billions. And majority of the fans wanted the Saudis because they have the most money in the end. But Saudi media made a competitive offer to buy Chelsea from Bramwich one hour before the deadline. So they did make the deadline. Which means there is a kind of competition between the Saudis. Nick Candy's. Bowie's, uh, Ricketts. So it hasn't been confirmed yet, but we know it's been confirmed bids. On to some play news and big up to my boy Andreas here, bringing some facts here that Rudiger will respect Chelsea and wait until the club finds a new owning place before deciding his future. And obviously we heard some rubbish Rudiger going Juventus and this and that, but he ain't going anywhere yet. Now, obviously for the new owners, if we do get someone big, I do see him staying, but we're going to have a big owner regardless, it's just depending on how much the net worth is. And the higher the net worth, the higher investing they will bring. But like Nick Candy said, he will invest like Roman. And he has a bit lower money than Roman, but if he puts all his assets into Chelsea, then he can be spending money on money and money. And we don't need to turn out like United, you know, like he has promised. So hopefully, uh, one of these options just come in and spend. Because in my eyes, I wouldn't mind who I get in. I just want the same type of investment that we had with Roman. You can have 1 billion, but if you put that whole 1 billion into Chelsea for the next 10 years, then that'll be fine. So we'll see how it goes in that, but obviously has been confirmed. There is a bid in place. Now it's in the matter of who's going to bid. Who's the one going to take over? Now guys, let me know who you want to be taken over because there are some kind of separation between the fan base. I think some people want the Saudi, some people want the Brits, some people want this and that. But at the end of the day, I think every Chelsea fan wants the person who invests the most money into the club. Now, again, repeating the topic of today's video, it looking like Chelsea has been bought, it's been bid. Now it's a matter of who has made the bid because we obviously know that the bid deadline day was yesterday and now... Us fans will know possibly next week because now the government will process it. Roman will process it, all that. Roman obviously doesn't have a decision. It's the government. Roman, I think, has a, a verbal say, but I don't think it is a, a say where the government has to listen to him. So we'll find out next week, and then from there, we go back to normal. So all these Royal fans saying that we're not going to have a bus to Madrid, we're not going to have a plane to this, we're not going to... We're going to be back to normal. We're going to be buying players in August. We're going to be selling players in August. We're going to be making transfers. We're going to be 
you know, recruiting players, like nothing's gonna change with Chelsea now. People don't understand that we have a bid confirmed, meaning people have bought the club, they're interested in the club, they put money into the club. Now it's a matter of who is the government gonna pick. So we have an owner. Now it's a matter of time of who is it gonna be. So we should not be worrying too much we've got some decent owners on our hands obviously i don't think anyone really wants the ricketts family obviously because of what we've known from them if you don't know the rumors are kante rudiger um Sa, and mendy have said that if the ricketts do take over um they will then leave the club because the ricketts are islamophobic and obviously they are islam so we do not want the ricketts at the club for me i want the saudis but the bid has been made the saudis just put it before deadline an hour before which whew, that that's that that was, that was the last bit is so there's about six to seven publicly possibly there could be more maybe we, we're not too sure but there's about six to seven publicly maybe there'll be about 12 13 if if there's some you know going in and on so don't want to uh publicly say their name but majority of the time it'll be about six so out of the six one will get picked uh, possibly by tomorrow or the day after and then we'll find a figure out probably by Friday and now we're going international break we don't have any games so give some players a little rest but obviously we've got some players going to play some friendlies and all this rubbish so no football for two weeks but the news ain't stopping here the news at Chelsea ain't stopping so do make sure to like subscribe comment turn the post notifications on I will be streaming a lot next week I have missed this whole week because it's been very very busy but I will be streaming next week. I'm going to get some big guests on for you guys as well. Until next time, see you guys.